Today I'm having a look at the Mazda 6 to see how good it is as a baby drive. Storage in the front of the Mazda 6 is quite compact. There are two cup holders here that will hold a reusable and disposable coffee cup. There's a little well at the front here that I found good for my phone. The central console storage box is small. It does have a 12 volt and two USBs in there, but it is a small, small area. The glove box is also very small. I could get my iPad and wallet in there, but it's very compact. And there is a glasses case in the ceiling, which is good. The door bins are quite small. They will hold a large refillable water bottle, but not much else goes in there. Storage in the back is pretty similar too. The door bins are smaller, but they will hold a large refillable water bottle. There are mat pockets on the back of both front seats, but they are very small. And there's a fold down armrest in the central seat back. It does have two cup holders and a storage area, charging area for your phone. However, there's also the buttons in there to heat the rear seats. And that is trouble for toddler's fingers. In the back of the Mazda 6, there's three top tether points. They're along the parcel shelf in the back and they are quite hard to access, especially once you've got seats in. There's Isofix in the two outer seats. They're within plastic guides, which makes them a bit easier to connect to. I have managed to get three child seats in the back here, which is a real surprise. I've got the rear facing in the outer seat and then two forward facing. They're fine space-wise, but it's just really tight in here and a low ceiling to get them all installed. But once they're in, they're fine. Let's find out how much we can fit in the boot of the Mazda 6. Empty, it will hold 12 shopping bags. The Mountain Buggy Duet Twin Stroller will fit with five shopping bags. The Mountain Buggy Urban Jungle will fit with eight shopping bags. The Brightax Flex Tandem Stroller will fit with nine shopping bags. The Mountain Buggy Nano will fit with 12 shopping bags. The Mazda 6 is a lovely smooth car to drive. Although you sit much lower than you would in an SUV, your vision is at the level where you really need it. It's nice and smooth and quiet and yeah, quite pleasant really. The media system in the Mazda 6 is quite basic, but it's very easy to use. It doesn't have Apple CarPlay or Android Auto. When I put the car into reverse, you get a nice big um, camera view behind you. Also the sensors rear and front and you can minimize that by pressing the arrow here and turn the beeping off with a button down by the driver's right knee. So to sum up with the Mazda 6, it's a quite surprisingly good baby drive. It's nice and smooth and quiet to drive. You can get three child seats in the back, which was a really big surprise. However, that roof line is just really low, so it's quite hard getting kids in and out. And surprisingly, the boot fits a nice amount in too. The media screen, it just lets it down a little bit, but it is gonna have Apple CarPlay and Android Auto soon, so that's great. Read the full reviews at babydrive.com.au